Hello everyone, today we have a nice creating tutorial. I have this sequence of shots and let's try to grade them. Uh, I think they all are shot with the same settings. That's why we can just choose the hero shot, try to grade it and then apply the look to all other images. For a hero shot I would take this one because it has clear area of whites that we can white balance and we can also work nice with uh, skin tones because it's a headshot. So let's create few nodes, few empty nodes I will create maybe uh, four or five parallel nodes. And let's start with the last one. So this footage was actually graded with, uh, I think, Canon. And let's then apply the technical lot. Let's choose log to Rec 709 folder and choose something like log to rec 709 no it is too yellowish let's try this one canon log 2 to rec 709 yeah that's already looking better and let's try with node number 3 and call it white balance. So here I have the area of white, so I choose the white balance picker and choose something that should be completely white, like maybe this area. Before and after, before and after. Okay, so maybe I'll try another lot. I don't like it that much. Let's try just a normal walk to Rex 709. Yeah, this is looking more less contrasty and more exposed. Um, so, once again, before and after with our white balance. Then go to the next node and here I think we will play a little with the hue because you see if we choose the skin tones hit command shift H to apply our highlights and then go to rectoscope we see that it's shifted towards yellow so let's try to append a little bit of view and let's have a look how it will look like applying to the whole image let's apply a little bit of view it's more yellowish right now and then we go to more red hue something like that would be just just fine before and after before and after okay this is our view uh, then I probably apply some contrast contrast uh -oh, sorry change label to con Rest. Okay. And make it something like like that. Yeah, I like it. The next uh, node we will play a little more with skin tones. You see, they are still, the skin tone is still looking yellowish. 
So if I apply the tint, it's going better, but the whole image, all the, the whites here are starting to be more pinkish. That's why I can play a little and apply a little bit of tint but still not that much so before and after let's have a look at the full window before and after not that much difference we can apply a little bit more before and after and in the same I think in the same note will go to our hue versus hue and here I want to change this yellow to more red not affecting the whole image let's choose let's say something mid-tones area of her skin tone and try to make it a little bit more reddish so if I move this way it's going green if I go this way it's starting to be more reddish before let's make it full, full screen and after before yellow skin tones and after more pinky pinky reddish So this is before the you whole, know, if I disable all the nodes, and this is after. So this is our skin, skin tones. And here we can play a little bit with the uh, saturation. Let's try and make it a little bit more saturated before and after before and after and let's try to maybe add some color boost to make her face pop from the background so this is the before and this is after before and after maybe too much too much of saturation and I think I think that it's now looking very very nice. Let's have a look uh, at our exposure. What we have on our waveform. So it's quite okay. We see that this watch is almost dark we can actually bring a little bit more of our shadows down and maybe some highlights more but anyway we need to check if her exposure on her skin is correct and we can do this by just applying the false color plugin and we see that it's, uh, her skin tones are laying somewhere in between of 45 to 65 and that's okay for women's skin tones we can maybe add a little more no, no, no skin 
something like that maybe would be better. Let's disable this node. Close our open effects and go back to exposure before and after. And maybe, maybe, maybe we bring back our shadows back. So, uh, and the last technical notes that we need to do, I delete this false car, we don't need it, need it anymore. We just want to be sure that our blacks are black and our whites are white. Uh, we go to the curves, luminance versus saturation, and make our blacks black. And our whites also we make we make them desaturated. So before and after we don't see subtle difference but they are and maybe 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 I'm just thinking let's try just try to add a little bit more of Red to the skin tones. Yeah, come on, it's not no, it's going. So let's reset it and add. Let's have a look before. And after, yeah, I think that looks better. For and add a little bit of, of reds to the mid tones. So now I have completed my grading. Go to the gallery, and I save this still with all the uh, nodes and just go to another node, another clip click command S and apply everything to this new image and let's go to that one and again before and after and everything looks just fine and let's try this one beautiful shot before before oh, come on one after before one after I think here we can Uh, no, it's looking great. Before and after. Maybe a little bit overexposed. But, but I like it. And let's try also to buy it here. Before and after, also looking very nice in this shot. And this shot is also very before and after. The skin tones look, look nice. Very good skin tones. Situation is just fine. Yep. So, I think that's it. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.